Welcome all of you to the first podcast of Inside Buddha. I hope you're doing absolutely fine at your homes. I hope you like the intro. A lot has gone into that. And if you like it, please write in the comments. It would mean a lot. I'm really excited and I'm sure you are too. I was also nervous because 2 days prior uh there was news of Facebook being banned and I was crossing my fingers that it would happen to any platform but not Facebook because this was about to come up. Okay, so the next 10 minutes will be all about how you can get into capgemini and what are all the challenges that one as a student have been facing and what are the solutions to that so without wasting any more time let's hop directly into the video okay so let me introduce you to the first guest of inside buddha she is someone who likes to travel she is someone who loves being with her friends she is someone who is an out and out person who is involved in all types of extracurricular activities and also at the same time she has cracked the job of analyst at none other than the capgemini so without wasting any more time let's welcome her thank you thank you so much for this lovely introduction so firstly how are you shimantika yeah i am totally fine what about you yeah i am doing great i am doing great and i think after this podcast i'll be doing even better so thank you for joining You're the first person that uh, I think you have a very sp- special one because you are the first person to be featured on the Inside Buddha. So yes, thank you for being a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. I am blessed to become the part of this great initiative. Thank you. Okay. So first things first. Your opinion about everything that is happening in the country are are there any positive sides to everything that is happening around? Okay. we all know the present situation of the country is quite critical uh, people are suffering almost in every field if you talk about education it's most affected if you talk about business it's also affected due to the ongoing pandemic cases are increasing exponentially and economical condition is also not good though there is some disbalance occurring in the country there is some positive sides too yes positive sides at least we can use this time for preparation do some extra courses learn new things and many more so please use this time to learn more and grow more great great i also think the same so i'm very nervous while asking the question i know this comes a lot to you but still i'm going to ask it i've come to know from my sources that you tend to throw things around you when you are angry and i don't want to make you angry so i'm just handling I am prepping you for that. Oh my god, who told this to you? Um but don't worry, I am not angry right now, okay? So, yes, the question comes here. You are belonging from an electrical department and you're doing job in an IT department, right? My question to you is is it uh really you are working towards or the work system or the work environment has changed today like that? like everyone is being forced to do a job in it field so what are your thoughts about it no no it's not like that uh, everyone is forced to do a job in it field obviously it's uh, their choice but uh, grabbing a job in a it company is less difficult than grabbing a job in a core company as you all as we all know that number of core companies are very less and grabbing a job in a core company is difficult and time consuming too and for me one of my relatives suggested that uh, if you joined electrical there is some vacancies for government job so i joined but when i joined my college i don't know about what is electrical what is cac and what is cc and other departments after some times when i learned my departmental subject and other subject then i realized my interest and finally i got the job in a it company great okay so let's start from the very beginning your schooling and a follow up question to that will be is schooling from a reputed co- school is that much important in today's time to be a part of tier 1 tier 2 colleges or it is just a myth so what are your thoughts about it okay my schooling 
I did my class 10 from Raikon's Girls High Secondary School and did my class 12 from, from Chudoshanpur Dadika Prashad Uchavita Chakra. From your next question that is schooling is important or not. Yes, schooling is very much important as uh, schooling is something where you can build your basics, knowledge and schooling gives you the confidence to choose your right path. Believe me, when you are in college, na, there is no one who come to clear your doubt. So, if you are thinking that you are not in a reputed school and you can't get a good college, then you are totally wrong. Knowledge is important, guidance is important, but not a reputed school. So, just focus on your dream, uh, clear your basics, and you can easily get your dream college. Yes, I... I... I think I completely agree with it and one more just point I would like to add I have known few students who were belonging to a very below I won't I won't take the name but a very below average school but now they are in tier 1 tier 2 colleges so I think if you have the right mentality and if you have the right guidance and that is what this channel is for so if you have all that and you're proceeding towards your path I think uh, success will initially come to you so yes okay so many audience watching are also from first and second year and many of them I think haven't faced the or act, haven't feel the actual uh, vibe of the college attending college attending fest attending the classes uh, everything that we used to do so can you just share the two years first two years of experience so that they also get an idea and what are they missing today actually okay to be frank i was so scared about dragging actually my elder sister told me engineering colleges are famous for dragging so i was just like ab kya hoga mere saath? but never happened this kind of things fortunately at the very first day i was so nervous did not know what to do and uh, how to manage everything it took time to understand every single thing. Then uh, second year came. Meanwhile, my departmental subjects came. Yeah, it took time, but uh, slowly I understand. Okay, that's my path. Now you are thinking that I, I am so studious, right? But uh, let me to tell you that you are totally wrong. Yes, it's, it took time, but behind this, I enjoyed every second of my college life like bunking classes, hanging out with friends, making new friends and many more. From your next question, I guess they are missing a lot of things. Uh, though there is online classes, but there is a huge difference between online class and conventional class. In engineering field, practical is very much important. Is it possible to do the practicals in online mode? I don't think so. On the other hand, the teacher-student bond, which we made, our seniors made, but they can't. On the other side, they don't get the essence of college atmosphere. Teacher-student bond, interaction between seniors and juniors, uh, organizing phase, and many more. So, I guess they are missing a lot of things. Okay, so two years of enjoyment, fest, cultural activities attending and bunking classes everything fine but suddenly i think you have also experienced this a bell rings placements drives are on and suddenly we get to know that yes you have to come back to the tracks and you know start preparing for the placement drives so what was your mentality over there and how did you start preparation and also a question related and following that up how a student watching this who wants to be a part of Cap Money? Uh, so, what are all the high hiring process? What all the company looks for the candidate, and what all job profiles he or she might look into? So, how can one prepare for it? Okay, uh, for Cap Money aspirants, they have to prepare for four rounds. That is, game based aptitude, verbal, pseudo code, and psychometric test. All are elimination rounds. Uh, if you clear all of them, then uh, you will get your interview call. Uh, not only Capgemini, every company is not looking for a student who is hard, a topper or uh, a good student. Every company is looking a student who is teachable and hardworking. So, 
work hard and uh, keep prepared at least one programming language uh, it can be anything c c plus for java okay so what are the languages that you prepared and are there any specific criteria or specific languages that one must be skilled with to be a part of capgemini for capgemini is yes, there is some criteria that is you have at least 70% throughout your academics and no year gap that's it okay so preparations done everything set so what now the the day the interview day so what was your mentality over then like we know what to say what not to say in the interview it's fine but what was your mentality before entering into that phase like you're facing the interview what was your mentality and what should one keep uh, his or her mentality before actually uh, sitting in front of an interview if, uh, you can share the raw experience i think it would be very beneficial for all the audience watching okay uh, when i got the mail that i cleared each and every round and selected for the interview i was so happy but little bit of nervous too like uh, it was my first interview but fortunately got some gap in between them so i just used the gap for polishing my skill and preparing for the interview the interview was great and i almost answer each and every question and finally selected for the company and now i am here as an analyst though i was nervous still i tried to maintain a smile on my face and answer each and every question confidently so my suggestion for everyone just maintain a smile on your face and answer each and every question confidently so why are you waiting go and prepare for your dream company na great i think uh, this would help a lot of people because i think this answer was needed okay so again a very big congratulations to of being a part of such a big it firm as capgemini and just a question are you thinking of upgrading what like what are you thinking after 5 years will you in the same company will you upgrading will you go in for further studies so what are your plans thank you um currently i am totally focused on my current job and developing my skills uh, due course of time with gaining experience i will definitely think about upgradation okay so any final note for everyone watching there are students from the first year second year third year fourth year so everyone is watching any tips anything that you want to say like if you are were in the shoes so what and if you have the no- current knowledge of now so what would you tell your older self okay lastly i just want to say to my juniors and it aspirants bus follow three things first one do at least one programming language along with its data structure second one maintain at least 65% marks throughout your semester third one and the very important one making projects do at least two or three projects when an interviewer sees that you uh, your cv have two or three projects then most of the questions are coming from your projects itself so your interview is totally on your hand so bus follow these things and keep preparation according to it i guess you can get your dream company all the very best okay so i think that brings us to the last question and i think it was amazing talking to you and everything that you said i think it would benefit everyone listening and thank you for your time again thank you thank you so much pratim for inviting me seriously it's a great 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 experience Uh, believe me when you gave me the proposal i did not think twice because i just love your idea seriously you are doing a great job um, best of luck for inside buddha wanna see the 100th episode of inside buddha very soon all the very best for your future keep growing thank you